Coasts. We are having a special episode of Food Fight. We're on the West Coast this time. We're on the West Coast, baby. We're on the West Coast. We thought we need to get something that we can't get on the East Coast. So we're doing West Coast burgers. To be honest, you can get two of these in the East Coast, but the main thing is how does all these stack up against each other? Can you get Jack in the Box on the East Coast? I think so. Is there no Jack in the Box? I don't think. You know what? We're going to look into this. Yeah. Jack in the Box on the East Coast. <laughs> well, Fat Burger's like the closest one to us is like an hour and a half. That's away. right. It's yeah. very far. We got Jack in the Box. I don't know. For some reason, I like this box a lot. It's just simple. It's right to the point. We got Fat Burger. It reminds me of like the 70s where they just throw it in. It's nice little Classic packaging. Dressing. The burger of choice of this area, the In-N-Out Burger. This In is your burger. comparison to Five Guys, to Shake Shack. We didn't get animal style. We pretty much got the standard burgers for all three places. So what would you say between the three, your one, two, three? I'm going with In-N-Out one, because I've had In-N-Out. It's very, it's just, they're really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, yeah, Fat Burger two, Jack Box three. All right, I'm gonna do In-N-Out, Jack in the Box, and then fat burger. And so we don't have plates, we're using this. <laughs> we're going ghetto style today. We're doing it. We don't have our usual stuff. On these napkins, or these, what was it, what do you call this? This is a uh, this paper, paper bag. bag. A paper, paper bag. bag, I said napkin because I'm a dummy. Yeah, it's all good. We have to have a disclaimer first. The, with the logistics of everything today, we got fat burger like way earlier than we should have gotten it. And it is super cold. When we're gonna rate Fat Burger, we have to also rate in the aspect of it is cold. Yeah. So we have to imagine what it's gonna be like when it's warmer. We have to be fair and just base it on the taste. Exactly right. I would say we we'll probably start, with, start with Fat Burger. So Fat Burger's number one. It's pretty fat. <laughs> <laughs> that patty is pretty damn fat, I must say. It's very appropriate for you the You know what? Name. Fat Burger is like Mondo Burger. Is that from Spongebob? That's from Good Burger. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my Krabby Patty's from Spongebob. Remember Spongebob when they had like Wombo? No. <laughs> the, do not. Do the upside down M and turns Wombo? You know what the problem is? What? You got it set to M for mini, when it should be set to W for Wombo. Patrick, I don't think Wombo is a real word. So, obviously it's gonna be cold, but if you look at this, it's just simple. Just a very simple burger. Doesn't mm. look that bad, actually, though. Doesn't look that bad. It looks like the outside is like real crusty. I'm not a huge fan of that. But everything else about it looks pretty good. Let's do it. Mmm. Flavor-wise, not bad. If it feels warm, it would be pretty damn good. The lettuce is fine. It's crunchy. It's good. The mayo, solid. Good amount of mayo. The burger itself is actually pretty good. It's a solid tasting burger. This is a pretty good burger. I, you know what I really like about it? They had mustard and relish in it. And that they did is, have mustard and relish. Yeah, honestly, it's not that common when it comes to like fast food. You usually don't get mustard. No. Or And relish. That's usually I don't know, like a more gourmet burger place. The pickle, the bite and the crunch of the pickle, it actually solid. Like I'm giving this, to be honest, my rating, I already got it. I'm giving this a three. I'm gonna give it, you know, I'm just gonna assume that it's warm and I'm gonna give it a three and a half. I think it's a solid burger. I would definitely have this again. Overall, it exceeded my expectations, to be honest. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty solid. good burger. Right. Let's do Jack in the Box next. By the way, they do on the box say caution hot, so I'm guessing they got sued before. Now, there. This looks pretty good. Pretty simple burger. The bun itself feels nice. All right, ready? Mmm. That's not bad. I think a lot of lettuce. Too much lettuce for me. I think the taste of the burger is pretty good. I like the fat burger's taste a lot better. I think the cust the ketchup, the mayo ratio, solid. I also love the cheese. Cheese is good. It added. I like what the cheese a lot. What kind of cheese is this? Feels tastes a little different. Tastes like from, American. Is it? No, it's gonna be cheddar. Um it's like white. I think it's cheddar. Tastes Swiss. That you does not look Swiss? like cheddar. Does this look like cheddar? That looks like It Swiss. looks like it's wilted. I'm gonna have to double check what that is. You know up. what? We're gonna have to look this up. Yeah, the cheese kind of tastes a little off. I would have liked something more traditional like American or cheddar on it. I honestly think it looks better than it tastes. Looks That's way, it looks way better than it tastes, but it doesn't taste that bad. It doesn't taste that bad, but I would say, for me, I would still give it like a two. I'm a two and a half on this one. Two and a half? Yeah. That's solid. I give it to you. Uh, Last and final burger, the In-N-Out. 
But yeah, when I went to In and Out, it was just it was like 3 p.m., which is usually not busy for anywhere, but it was still busy. Yeah. Um, and everyone was so freaking nice there. It's like freakishly <laughs> nice there. Overly polite. I think it's just because they get paid really well there. More importantly, it's probably the burger joints uh, in the California. So they're just like, yeah, especially these the West guys, Coast. they're just miserable in their jobs. Yeah. <laughs> so right away, I think the bun, slightly softer than everyone else. I think the bun is gonna be the best one on this one. I did notice the uh, the bottom portion of the bun is not as soft. It's, but that might be by design to be like, it's hard to even cut right now. They kind of, I think they oh, toasted crunchy. it. Oh, it's crunchy. Yeah, they had to toast it. So that's probably by design. This is your classic double-double. In and out burger. In and out burger. So the patties, very thin. They're not comparatively. The onions look fresh. The lettuce looks fresh. And the cheese looks properly melted. It is like properly melted. It smells amazing. It like as soon as face. they open the window, it just smacks your face. It's it's pretty awesome. Maybe. Want to take a bite? Yeah, let's take a bite. Not digging the onion so much. It feels like a lot. It was it. I feel like there's a lot more onion than they normally give you. The burger itself, the patties, they're great. They taste fine, great flavor to them. The lettuce, I think was um, better in the other burgers compared to this one. This is a really good burger. For me, I feel like the patty yep. is seasoned way better than the other two. Just It just comes through way more. Um, and I think that's what the problem that I have with Jack in the Box. Like it looked great, but just, uh, just a little bit on the bland side. Mm -hmm. This one, I feel like all the flavor comes through. I don't know how they do it, but Maybe it's because it's it's more fresh, maybe because it's never frozen. And the impressive thing is that this burger is, price-wise, is on par with the other burgers. So it's like, why go to the other two? Yeah, to be honest, right? this still did let me down. It's still better than the other burgers, but it still yeah. let me down because I think the bottom burger, the crunchiness of it, some, it, it just wasn't toasted properly enough. And when it got cold, it, it felt more stale. If I were to rate this, I'd give it a four. I am right there with you. I'm gonna give it a four. I don't think it reaches a 4.5 exactly, but obviously a solid burger. Every time I come to the West Coast, I'm still gonna get it. Mm -hmm. Just because it's it's classic. All right, guys. It's been another episode of Food Fight. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. As always, give us ideas on what you wanna see down in the comments below, and we will definitely check them out. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Have a good one. We out. Peace. Peace.